So we gave him about a 20 minute break and went and worked with another horse for a little while. I just wanted him to kind of mentally get to relax. And you can see he's pretty relaxed. He's ready to saddle. I've uh, done this quite a bit. Just put the rope around his belly and he generally acts like he doesn't even notice. Um, the other day I put a Cirque single and a saddle blanket on him, left it on him for three or four hours. He didn't even act like that bothered him at all. So I don't think he'll have a problem with the saddle. Uh, we'll see. In recent years, I've found that most of the colts I saddle don't buck with the saddle. Used to, they all did. <laughs> and it, I said it many times, if you don't scare a horse, they won't buck. And that goes with saddle and everything. Um, if you do it slow and easy, most colts will not buck on the first saddling. I mean, a few of them are gonna do it, and that no matter what you do. And if he does hump up a little bit, it's not a big deal, you know. Not, I'm not really bothered by it. I just don't want to bother him. So you see, uh, now his owner did tell me that they had set a saddle on his back before. Good. Yeah, see, he's not even bothered by that. One of the things I like to do before I cinch the saddle up is I like to pull it off and let it hit the ground. So I'm gonna do that here on both sides. And the reason I like to do that is because in the event that something like my body <laughs> was to fall off of him someday, I don't want him to be all that bothered by it. So it did bother him a bit, didn't it? Okay, and he's pretty curious, which I like, so let's let him go up there and see what that scary thing is. So he didn't mind it on his back, but he didn't like it hitting the ground. <laughs> so that's, that's the reason I do it. Uh, they just need to be used to anything that could possibly happen here. Okay, and that might have gotten him just a little bit anxious. So he might say, boy, I don't know about you now, huh? All right, so I put it on from the right side. Let's put it on from the left side. What the old timers would call the onside. Okay, he doesn't seem too concerned about that. Good, good, now let's pull it off on this side. And I use this old beat up rope and saddle for this. It's specifically what I keep it for. Here it comes, Chico. Okay, didn't bother him as much that time. So as I said, I don't think he's gonna to have too much trouble with this. But you just need to go slow and take as much time as it needs. With some Mustangs, I've taken three, four days to get them ready to handle a saddle. You know, it just takes as long as it takes. It won't take that long with him. All right? Okay. There we go. Okay. So this part he's had done before. He's not had it cinched up before. All right. Let me turn him around so you can see what we're doing here. Back up, bud. Okay. <laughs> He's not the least bit concerned about performing for the camera, is he? He <laughs> keeps putting himself in a position. <laughs> you can't see what he's doing. <laughs> Thank you. Stay right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, so 
So I'm just going to stand back and let him feel that on his belly. He says, what in the world is that? Okay. All right, so my phone rang, and I was, uh, as I was starting to do this, which is fine, I just talked on the phone and let him stand there. So he's okay with that. If he weren't, I would just keep approach retreat, approach retreat. So I think he's going to be okay. We'll go ahead and gently cinch him up here. His head's down, his ears are out to the side. He's watching me, but he's not worried about what's going on here. He's a good boy. Nice colt. All right, that's tight enough that it's not going to come off. Good boy. Now this back cinch is probably too long to get it tight. He's not that big and barreled horse yet. <laughs> yeah, that's as tight as it'll go. Okay. I kind of like to have it snug just so they can feel it. But see, he's not too bothered. He's wondering what it is, but not scaring him. Okay. Ow. Now, I'll start off lunging him because if he does get bothered and start humping or bucking, I'd like to stop him if I can. I don't want him to start thinking that's the answer to a problem. And I, I don't think he will. He's, he's pretty calm. I don't think he's going to get bothered by it, but let's just send him off here. Yeah. <laughs> that's, boy, that doesn't, doesn't get much better than that, does it? Yeah. <laughs> he's like... I don't even notice. No big deal. Okay, let me trot him off. Now he's feeling those stirrups hitting his sides. Plopping against his elbow there. Let's go this way, Chico. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, another boring video from SBH Stable. And the way I look at it, if it's boring, then I did my job. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. So now I'm going to cinch it up a little tighter and send him around the pin at a lope so that he can kind of feel it with, his full, with a full range of motion. Send him off. <laughs> He's so friendly. He wants to stay with me. Come on. Let him lope around. Oh, he says, wait a minute, what is that? <laughs> okay, so it did bother him a little. I didn't expect that, but we'll just let him work through it. All right, I take it back. The video's not boring. So, just want to keep him moving. So, I want you to think about this a second. A buck means that he's not moving forward. Think about that. If a horse bucks, they're not going forward. Uh, they're going, they're stopping the, the motion of their feet. Come on, buddy. Yeah. So, eh, he might do it again. I, I don't, that's probably the worst we'll ever see out of this colt. Come on. It was a little more than I expected, but it just bothered him. He wasn't sure what was going on. Kind of scared him a little. Keep moving, bud. Keep moving. You want to keep him moving so that he doesn't kind of freeze up and mentally shut down. At least for a little while. Keep him going. Since he's still acting a little humpy, I'm going to try to lope him off again here. Good. Get him moving out. Now he's licking his lips. This colt's only had two round pinning sessions, and he's already figured out the round pinning really nice. So he's still got a little hump in his back. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna keep him loping around here until it kind of he kind of smooths out. Oh, 
Okay, there. The hump came out when he started trotting. His back's flattening out. Okay, good. Now let's lope him off. Okay. So that time he didn't hump up when he loped off. A little, but not as much. Go this way. Okay. Yeah, that time he didn't hump up. Okay, good. Ooh. Good boy. Good boy, okay. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. All right, so I'm just gonna leave him in here for a little while, leave that saddle on him. It's the reason I use an old saddle. If he r tries to roll with it, it won't hurt it. Um, and then we'll take it off here in an hour or two. 